hello, hello. My trusty water bottle. Oh, definitely need some more water today. <clears throat> so I'm going to wait a little bit, just a little bit, um, for Facebook to build an audience. I find that Facebook lags a little bit um, behind. And so if I ask a question, you're hearing it moments before I really asked. But in any case, say hi. I'm always curious to see who's on. <clears throat> say hi, say where you're from. Hey James, if you're with a company and you wanna say the company, type down. Um, hey honey. Honey's on. <laughs> hey Gina. Cool, get some, get some um, network marketers in here. Um, I wanna have a conversation today. I am really curious as to what you think. Um, I know that I've got my thoughts on this topic, but the question comes down to, do you think anyone can do network marketing? Do you think anyone can get involved in direct sales? Hi, Deb. Type down below, if you think that anyone can get involved, type a one. If you think that not everyone can get involved, type a two. And I'm gonna tell you my thoughts. Hi, Jennifer, how are you? So I'm gonna give it a little bit of time. But it's a question I've been pondering and you know, it might not be such a cut and dry answer. I don't see any answers, so I guess I will give you my viewpoint. <laughs> so the question is, right, can anybody get involved in network marketing? And sometimes I think that people just say, you know, oh yes, you know, anyone can do this. And I think that there's a really fine line here. Um, I think that it is open for anyone to explore. I think anyone can look at it, but, but, I don't believe anybody can do it. Um, hi Heather, and I know that some people disagree with me. Um, I've had this discussion with people and they will say that um, anyone can do this. I don't, I, don't, I don't buy that. Hi Stacy, how are you? I think that it takes really understanding what this industry entails to decide whether or not it's right for you. And it is okay if it's not right for you. It is not right for everybody. Hi, Laura. Um, it just isn't. You know, there are certain things about this industry that you have to understand if it resonates with your personality because if it doesn't, you won't be comfortable with it. Um, and one of those that I'll talk about I just waved at the camera like, I did see you. Hi, Stacy. I saw you wave. <laughs> Hi, Pamela. Um, so, so one of the things, um, you know, that I want to share is this be your own business. Be your own business. Be your own boss. Be your own boss. That is awesome in its right, right? You've got you have the ability to have freedom. You have the ability to work when you want. You have the ability to live a lifestyle that is incredible. Um, all of these different perks. But be your own boss. Those are huge words. It does not mean like, okay, I just wake up and have a business and I can be my own boss. There is a lot of work behind that. And a lot of people, right, do have a hard time being their own boss. So I wanna explore this a little bit because I think this is a key piece on understanding if network marketing is for you or not. Being your own boss means you need to understand if you are disciplined. You have to be disciplined. And if you're not, you have to say to the person who brought you in and who's your partner, I'm not the best at being disciplined. Can you hold me account to be accountable? And that person has to help you with accountability. See, when you have a J-O-B, as I call it, a job, right? You know what you are supposed to do from this hour to this hour. You know the, the, what's expected of you. You know the tasks that are on hand. You know the outcome that's needed. And you have things that you need to do. With being your own boss, 
You are juggling life and all of the things that go involved and you have to say, no, 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 no. I need this amount of time allocated because I need to get certain things done. And you kind of have to be stringent about it. And you have to set your hours for yourself. Because if you do not build a roadmap, right, of being your own boss, if you do not tell yourself what to do, you can spiral and something can take you so far off track and you won't get back on track. So you have to stay disciplined in knowing that there are certain things that you have to do in order to move your business forward. And some people really need and, and thrive better at a job. They thrive better at knowing that I get a steady paycheck, I work these many hours, I do X, Y, and Z, I get a job well done, over and out. Then you've got people that are not comfortable as so much with that, right? And those are the type of people that like to explore network marketing a little bit. It's, it's more of a risk. There is not a steady income. Your income is based on the results that you bring and that you bring to your business. So, oh, sorry, I was just reading that. So while, while there are so many perks, you've got to put in the work to get you there, right? And so it does take being organized. And if you're someone that's not organized, you again, you need to ask for assistance on this because in order to be successful, you have to be organized. You have to. There are so many things in a day, so many tasks to do. You're running your business. If you're growing a team, you're helping your team, you have got to be organized. You've got to have systems in place. That's another thing. You really need to have systems because if you don't have systems that will guide you, you start to spin. And when you are that one person that is juggling so much, if you do not put down a roadmap, as I call it, you're driving aimless, aimlessly. And that can be very difficult. So can anyone explore network marketing? Yes, you can explore it. Can anybody dabble in it? Yes. Can anybody succeed in it? You've, you've got to have perseverance, dedication, discipline, organization, and never quit. And it doesn't mean that you have to do it tomorrow, by the way. Like, you can do it three years from now, five years from now. You can do it in baby steps. You can do it part-time. You just have to have the commitment and the desire, okay? If you do not have the commitment and the desire, then call it what it is, a hobby. And that's okay. Can anyone do this business as a hobby? Yes. Okay, yes, yes, yes. But if you wanna take this and make this a serious business, it takes commitment, dedication, realistic expectations, which I'll go there next, but realistic expectations and building a roadmap. And if you're not great at building a roadmap, then ask for assistance. You have to be able to ask for help. I always ask for help. I always ask for guidance because there are always things that I can learn and always ways that I can get better. So I think that the question really becomes, what do you need out of network marketing? And can you look at this in a realistic way to see if it's right for you? Um, another thing that I want to touch on because I've seen this is that people get into network marketing and uh, three months later, they're like, not working for me. Uh, this puzzles me. This puzzles me because uh, I mean, what works in three months, guys? Like, come on. Um, three months is no time. Three months is you're just learning. You're getting your feet wet. You are just starting to understand like the business and, and stuff. So when I see that or hear that, I'm like, let's get some realistic expectations going. Like I've always said this. If you were in a job and you started a job and the job was brand new and your boss said to you, right, in three months, I want this place completely turned around and I want us to be the number one company and I want blah, blah, blah. And I expect us to be in pure profit and all these things. You'd be like, you're nuts. You're nuts. So why put that pressure on yourself? 
I say, as long as you have realistic expectations and you're moving your business consistently every day, right, and you've got the determination, you're there. And as long as you don't quit, you're there. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. And it also takes not comparing yourself. And I did a whole nother video on that. Okay, but stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop comparing yourself. You are you. You bring your own special gifts to what you do and nurture them, right? And build on them. And enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. And so I just wonder what you think. Could someone type below. This is type. I, someone type below because I'm just curious at your thoughts. Like, do you think that anyone can do network marketing? What do you think about it? Is someone going to be bold and tap away? Hey, Tabitha. Hi, Dax. Hey, Melissa. Danielle. And Pamela. Hi. So... <clears throat> It really, I really find it interesting. I, I had this discussion the other day with someone, um, and we got into a, a little bit of a heated discussion, I'm going to say, because she felt like anybody, she felt like anybody could do this industry. And I feel, wait a minute, I think it's harder for some than others. Thank you, Stace. Being introverted can definitely hinder your abilities to excel, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. Perfect. So I know I was starting to say something, but Stacy, see, I agree with this because I one time had a girl who was telling me, no joke, that she didn't like people. And she was saying, given the right tools, I think anyone can be successful. I agree with that, Stacy, but I also believe they've got to have the right expectations and know what they're heading into, right? And I guess that's what you mean by the right tools. I guess that's part of it, right? So um, I had a girl, and she seriously, she was telling me that she was, she, it was a three-way call, and she was telling me that she hated people, absolutely despised them, like, you know, listen, I mean, some people do, right? And I heard that, and I was very, very hesitant. The person who was talking to her wanted to bring her on. I said, I think that's going to be a hard road. You're not hearing what she's saying. Like, when people tell you things, they're telling you the truth. Like, they're telling you for a reason. Um, and the long and the short of it was that girl brought her on to the team, and it was a very difficult journey because she did hate people. And what that meant was she didn't want to talk to people. And if there was a problem that happened, she didn't want to discuss it. And if a customer didn't like something, she didn't care. And guess what? Okay, that's not something that can be fixed. So I think it is really important to truly listen to what people are saying to help them decide if it is right or if it isn't right. Because the bottom line is, if you bring somebody onto your team and it is not right for them and you knew it and they could kind of feel it, what? why did you just do that? Like you did yourself a disservice because you're now investing a lot of time in them and hey Francis and um, hi Patricia and you did them a disservice, right? And so I really feel like it is a win-win in all times. If you look at things as a win-win, like is this person... Do, do they have the right expectations? Do they know what it's going to take, right? Are they? Do they want it as a hobby? Cool. Do they want it as a real business? Then let's give them the real expectations, okay? Or, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe it's the right. If someone says to me it's not the right timing for me, it's not the right timing. Like, bottom line, they know what they have on their plate. And if they feel that there's too much on their plate, there's too much on their plate, okay? So timing is everything, and timing is important, and I do believe that. So, hey, Car. So um, I believe that it is important to really step back and try to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and understand what they are saying, right, um, to really see if if the timing is right or if the opportunity is right um, because you want it to be a mutually beneficial 
partnership. See, when it's mutually beneficial, it becomes a partnership. You work together. You grow together. You learn from them. They learn from you. It's so cool. So um, I wanted to jump in on that note and, and because that conversation I had with someone, um, I guess I just see things, uh, you know, I think there's a fine line. So hi, Melissa. Um, do I think that everybody has something that they can bring to the table and expand on? Yes. Um, but I also want people to understand that this industry takes work. Doesn't happen overnight. You are not getting rich overnight. You're not. Okay. It takes time. The people who make a substantial amount or ridiculous amount, a lot of money, crazy money, like woo, living the life money have been in it for years. Okay, they've been in it for years and they're staying in it. And that's how they got there. Okay, it did not happen overnight. So you have to have a long term vision. You know, you if you're getting in this short term, if you're getting in this because you want to make a fast buck, if you're getting in this because, you know, you, now you can make a couple extra hundred dollars, but I'm talking serious money. If you think you're going to be making serious money, you know, in five months, six months, seven. You're not. You could be making good money in a year, but you're not making that, you know, money that we're talking about until you've been in it three to five years. All right. Hey, Bonnie. Hi, Deneen. Hey, Danielle. Um, so, hey, girl, your hair's on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Melissa, you're so funny. I actually need to see you soon. <laughs> That's hysterical. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. You made me laugh. Um, so, you know, I do think that this is an industry that is open to anyone to explore. But I think in all fairness, we need to be realistic about expectations, about how much money you can bring in, what the future can hold, so that somebody can put that plan in their life. And they can say, you know what, okay, this is great, this is going to be fun, I want to do this to meet people, I want to do this for self-growth, because those are other things that happen. You meet some amazing flipping people, some of my best, best, best friends have come out of this um, industry, so you meet amazing friends, you go through this journey always of self-discovery, and it's like, you know, you can't, you can never pay for a course like this industry. Um, the, the amount of self-discovery that befalls you and growth that befalls you is, is immense. Um, and so if you want to come on in and you want to dabble and you want to have fun and you want to meet friends and you want to go on a self-discovery, come on in. Then, then that's awesome. Um, and a lot of people do get in for that reason. So, and that's a great reason. If you're looking for financial gain, like huge financial gain, that's also possible. But let's be realistic about what the time frame is, right? So that you understand it and are good with it. And I think with more of the truth of what it takes, people can make up their own mind of why they want to get in and how long of the journey it will be to get what they want out of it, right? And and maybe somebody just wants it for the fun and the friendship. That That's totally fine, too. Um, hi, Liza. So does anyone have any questions? So I think that the, the real... Um, I guess the bottom line is having realistic expectations about what you want out of the industry, right? And is it going to match? Um, understanding that being your own boss does not mean that you get to work from the beach. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you do, but you've worked very hard to do that, um, you know. So being your own boss is a very difficult ball to juggle. It is not as easy as it sounds. Um, yeah, it's great. I can wake up and stay in my pajamas for a while, you know what I mean? But you've got to work. You've got to work. Um, and you've got to be disciplined to give yourself hours 
and to keep yourself focused on the things that you need to keep focused on. Exactly. People promote financial gain all the time, but it takes time. Right. You can't go from $20 commission to hundreds of thousands overnight. You know, Danielle, let me tell you something. No, you can't. And here's the thing. Like, I remember, and it, it you know, it's so strange because... Um, what I remember, and, and again, I always go back to passion parties because that's where my greatest success was and my most, most of my experience came from. But I remember getting those beginning paychecks and they were, they were nothing. I'm just going to say that they were like $13. I remember in the beginning, it was like $30. I'd be like, woo, $30 commission check. Right. Um, and no joke. And so um, I saved every one of those stubs and the reason that I saved every one of those stubs is because it quickly told a story and what you can see is seriously I had like $13 then it went to $30 then it was like maybe $80 then it was like a hundred 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 then it went to like 200 and then all of a sudden it was like 600 and then like it seems like a blink of an eye, but if you look at the dates, it was some years, it went to thousands and thousands, and then like, oh my God, thousands, okay? So, it is something that, look, time is going to pass as it, as it is, right? Um, we sit here, and we blink, and it's a year later. I mean, come on, it's already July, for God's sakes, right? Like, ridiculous how fast time goes. So... My point is, if you're going to get into network marketing, get in, dig your feet in, and stay. Okay? Don't look at shiny balls. Don't look at ooh, what's this. Don't look at what's that. Go. There are some key things that I look for with companies. Keep that with you. And know that if you put in the hard work and if you stick with it, you will succeed. You will. Um, I am so confident about that. But you have to want it. You know, you have to want it because there is a lot of push that you have to do, drive that you have to have. Um, hey, Joanne. Um, you know, you have to do a lot of out-of-the-box thinking. Right, Joanne? A lot of out-of-the-box thinking. You have to meet cool people. Um, and that's like the best part, too. You meet cool people and then they get your brain going and stuff like that. So there's so much that it involves that you just want to be able to know, is the industry right for you? Does it align with what you want out of it? Does it align with what you want out of it? Be clear on that. What do you want? Do you just want some fun products? Do you just want, you know, to have fun with friends? Do you want to meet new people? Do you want some self-discovery? Do you want money? What is it that you want? Make sure that aligns. That is key to your happiness, okay? So make sure that you align and then make sure that the company that you're selecting, right, fits certain things that you're looking for. And I talk more about that and... You might have noticed, so I'm going to do a shameless plug. Um, I just launched www.getrealwithrobin, or O-B-Y-N, www.getrealwithrobin.com. And the reason that I launched that um, is you can access my company um, and get products from me through that, but I also have a button on there for coaching, and I am doing free 20-minute coaching with people on how to know if the company that you're with is right for you. How do you know that you're aligned? How do you know um, that you've got the right fit? Or how do you even know if it's right for you? And so if you're curious and you wanna just chat because you're not sure if network marketing's for you, or if you're not sure that you're in the right place, or if you're not sure if you should keep going, or if you're not sure, whatever it is, right? There's all these questions. I have a button on there. You can um, email me. I will email you back some dates, you know, that you, out of the dates that you select, and let's chat. Because um, in the bigger picture of things, and it's probably because I've gone through a tough road, um, it's probably because I've been to some hard places. I've learned a lot of stuff along the way um, from getting knocked down to getting back up. Um, and if I can help anybody find their happy place, 
I want to because the truth is I am so incredibly blessed right now with, I never thought I would find this place again. I never thought that I would feel the way that I felt about my old company. I never thought I would find that again with a company and I have found it. And because I feel so, so grateful, I know that the right thing to do is to give back. So that's what I'm doing with my website. If it helps you in any way, then that makes me feel great. So, hey, Jamie, how are you? Can't wait to see you. Um, <laughs> so, hi, Melissa. So, if anyone has any questions at all, feel free. That's typing. I didn't do so good on my water today. I'm trying. Maybe when I get off, I'll, I'll chug the whole water bottle. But um, that's about it. I just had that thought go through my head because I was talking to someone and it, again, you know, sometimes these conversations make me think and I'm like, hmm, you know, I think that anybody can get involved as long as they know the facts. I think that people need to understand what it entails. Um, oh, I think I just saw Michelle. Was that the heart from you, Michelle? Um, but I think that people need to know what it entails. And so if you want to get real with Robin, hit me up. Um, I'm happy to chat with you. With that being said, major, major love. Hi, Sierra. Major love to you. Seriously, I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Feel free to share the video. Hearts out. Pshh, back at you. You have a wonderful, fantastic, awesome day. Shine bright. Be you. Bye.